What up, all fans? I'm Trey Golden. I'm Chad Newman. I'm the men's basketball trainer here with Tennessee. We're going to take a few minutes to show you some stretches that you can do in your home or office to help you stay flexible and loose as you go through your day. Many of you spend multiple hours a day sitting at a desk in some of your jobs. So what we want to do is take a few minutes, show you a few exercises and stretches that you can do to make yourself more comfortable throughout that day. As you can see here, Trey is sitting at his computer working. What we're going to do is we want to stretch out a little bit of his lower body and his upper body to help him out. Um, these are simple, can be done at your desk, and it only take a few minutes. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have Trey stand up, push his chair back. The first thing we want to do is stretch our calf muscle out. So Trey's going to reach back with his right leg. As you can see here, we're, prop we're going to stretch out the, what's called the gastroc, which is right here. Uh, we're going to hold this for 20 to 30 seconds. Then what we want to do is drop our knee in, drop it to the floor, and we want to stretch our Achilles, which this is this area here. Two different areas to stretch as you go through these, these exercises. Next, what we're going to do is utilize our, our work chair to get some of our exercise done. done. Trey's going to stand up. He's going to turn around and face me. He's going to place one foot onto the chair, and with a straight back, He's going to reach out towards his toe and kind of hold that. Now we're going to stretch the hamstring, which is the back of the thigh here. Uh, we want to stretch that out to keep our, our low back loose and keep our and help us feel better. Next, he's going to just turn halfway to where his instep is on the, on the stool or chair. And this is going to stretch out his inner thigh or his groin muscle. This again helps attach us to the low back and helps us stay more flexible and much more comfortable throughout our day. From there, he's going to place both feet on the floor. He'll grab his right ankle with his right hand, keeping a nice straight posture, keeping upright. We're going to stretch out the quad, the quad muscle, which is here in the front. This, again, is part of the thigh. This way, we've stretched the back, the inside, and the out, and the front of his leg. Again, trying to keep as much looseness as we can in this area. Next, we're going to utilize our chair to help stretch our low back. Trey will take a seat into his chair. What I want him to do is I want him to lean forward towards the floor, put his arm underneath his thighs here, bring him under here, and he's going to kind of pull himself down towards the floor. This will help stretch out his low back, upper back, mid back areas. That way he lengthens these muscles where they get tight. Many people sit with poor posture when they're out at the office. They'll slump forward, they're on the computer a lot. So being able to stretch these out helps you increase your posture and you feel much better and much more loose. The last stretch we'll do is just an upper body stretch. Trey's going to be seated in a position. He's going to take his right arm and bring it across his front. What this is going to do is kind of stretch out your posterior chest, uh, I mean your posterior back area. And what we're going to do is then we'll switch that up. And of course, ball fans, what we do with all these exercises, we want to do both sides. We don't want to stick with just one side. And you can hold these from anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds as you go through these exercises. So. We will continue to do these exercises. Uh, we'd like you to try these at home, try these at work. Maybe this will make a difference in how comfortable you feel for that throughout the day. Thank you. Every time before we work out, we always like to get a three to five minute stretch to make sure that our bodies become active and make sure that we keep ourselves and our flexibility right. So Chad and I are here to show you a couple stretches that you can do whether you're an athlete or not right before you exercise. Yep, take a few minutes, run a little bit, walk a little bit, make sure you have good blood flow to your lower body and your upper body before you do some of these exercises. The first one we're going to do is an active calf and Achilles warm up. Trey's going to reach out and he's just going to do what I call a running man where he comes up on his toes We try to stretch out that lower body, those Achilles, those heels, that way he has good flexibility there as he prepares for either workout, a run, a bike, whatever it may be. Alright, next we like to also get these hip, hip muscles. He's going to stand here, hand on the wall, or, or a tree, or a fence, whatever it may be. He's going to take his, his right leg, he's going to sweep, sweep it through and across. This is going to help stretch all this inner and outer muscle musculature of his lower body. What you want to do is you want to do these several times, 15 to 20 reps each leg. That way that you, you get a nice warm up going. Now what we're going to do is he's going to turn sideways, and we're going to do an extension and flexion. So we're going to kick our leg back and forth. So Trey's going to demonstrate that.
Of course, of course, ball fans, you know, we've shown a lot of lower body here. We also want to do the upper body, so let's not neglect, neglect that. So Trey's going to do some shoulder circles to warm up the shoulder girdle. We'll do the other side. And then the last thing is we do a little exercises with our neck where we touch our chin to our chest, we look up in the sky, we touch one ear to one shoulder and one ear to the other shoulder. This just helps prepare us from head to toe, and that way we are ready for a great workout. Not only is it critical to make sure that you stretch and have your flexibility before a workout, but after workouts is also critical. Chad, you know, helps me all the time with making sure that after workouts I stay stretched, and he'll let you know why this is very critical. When you work out, you get, you get blood to all your body. It's pumping. Great time to stretch is as soon as you get finished with your workout. This will help lengthen the muscles and help increase that flexibility that we're trying to gain. So Trey's going to show us a few quick exercises and stretches that we can do to help do that after a workout. First one we're going to do is, again, we've shown a couple times, is he's going to lean up against the wall and just do the quick Achilles and calf stretch. Again, we're trying to stretch. No, no, just... Just stable. We'll hold it stable. We'll stretch out here. He's also going to bend his knees forward and get that Achilles area here. Really important to keep those calves and Achilles loose. It's a great place. Uh, your body has a lot of problems from the feet up, so make sure you keep these areas loose. Next, we're going to take a table or, or a fence or whatever may be close to us. We're going to just prop one leg up on it. We're going to again keep a straight back, bend the hips and go out and try to touch our toes. Again, we're going to stretch our hamstring area in the back to help stretch our low back area out. Again, we'll turn sideways to stretch the groin. This will help get this area here as we stretch. Now what we'll do is we'll place our foot down. We'll grab up, pull our heel to our butt. This will help again stretch out our quad area here and try to lengthen that area. The last thing we like to do is again go back and just stretch out our upper body with our arms across. So this is very similar to our exercises we can do in our offices. But again, what we want to do is do a total body stretch. We want to try to get some, some relaxation, some lengthening to those muscles. It'll make you feel better every day. It'll help your workouts go better. It'll make you help you recover every day. Hope this was hope this helped you out, ball fans. See ya.